Hey guys, it's your girl, Aquarii Moon. Today I wanted to talk about, uh, talking about, <laughs> I wanted to talk about uh, hidden trauma. So I haven't really had any clients that really wanted to deal with past life trauma or even present life trauma and with doing my research and you know and of course working on my personal development karma and past life baggage that we carry with us is hidden trauma and it's not taught really is not talked about it's not addressed it's basically, you know, there's there's certain elites that know about past life things and things like that. And instead of, you know, educating the people, or educating people on dealing with things that uh, they, they brought here from a past life, you know, they blind them, you know, in this 3D realm. And a lot of times, when I'm working with the client and they're really, really shut off. Like, I think I mentioned mentioned uh, the one client I had before, it, um, it's a gentleman and he, I've only worked with him twice. Um, the first time, the first time he was, he was shut off, he was closed off in a lot of his chakras, but I was able to get them, get it from being so stagnant and mind you, this was a distance healing uh, session. So, you know, it went well. I, I ended up having to actually extend it because it was, it took longer than usual to connect with his energy and then for the Reiki to actually start flowing into the different areas of his body that needed 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 the healing. So then he come, he, he makes an appointment again, but it was like, it was like basically like a month later that he, that he made the appointment and I was like okay you know I didn't you know there's no judgment everybody uh, has their own way and own time of when they want to heal and so in the second appointment I had to do it I had to extend the time again and the second time though he was like completely shut off so I, I know something had happened and he was kind of talking about that he he was having to go to get a colonoscopy and things like that and a lot of times when it's you know i mean i know they i think they i think they recommend it for older people i don't know i'm not i haven't gotten there yet um but i know it is something that they do if they suspect cancer or um, things like that and then i know Usually, I think if you're over like 55 or 60 or something, like they want you to just get checked. And that goes into a whole nother topic, uh, which is uh, food and your digestion. Uh, and I will talk about that too, because I do also help with nutrition, although I'm not like a trained nutritionist, but it's so simple. I mean, it's not like you need a degree to know how to eat properly. It's just, it's just a matter of uh, making the food taste good and, and, and making the commitment to a healthier, a healthier lifestyle. A lot of hit, hidden trauma develops during childhood and uh, you have those childhood memories that were less than great times. So, and I, you know, one guy that I know, he, he had a rough childhood with his mom and to this day you know it's it's not even like a son mother relationship it's you know he's like you know he talks about her he's like oh that lady you know he doesn't even really refer to her as mom and uh, he he kind of explained to me you know what types of things happen when he was younger you know the types of environments and things like that that she would have him in the types of things that she would say uh, and things like that which uh, really uh, affected him 
uh, although he may not admit it, like, like I have, a, he wouldn't really admit that he has those uh, emotional problems. I'm working on him though, so <laughs> we're, we'll see. I'm, I'm working to help him out because uh, it's, it's, it, the only thing it's going to do is help him um, in the, in the long run. But then there's also our adult life experiences that mold us um, into becoming like cold-hearted or pessimistic. Uh, you know, some of those experiences come, you know, when you are a teenager and then you're, you know, in your um, early adulthood, especially if you've had a lot of letdowns or if you've had just a lot of situations. You know, I, I, I notice a lot of, I would say a lot of, uh, I, I would say it's, I would, no, I wouldn't say mostly guys, but there are a lot of guys. And then especially if they, you know, if they grew up, uh, in the hood and things like that they tend to have really uh, traumatic experiences because you know they were always around people that did drugs you know they saw they saw their mom doing drugs they saw their aunts and uncles and dad and grandma like they you know so the environment was was toxic so uh, the, the, not only not only the, the environment was toxic but because of the social the social ladder they they weren't you know they were living in the in the lower income areas and the, the and things like that so you know when you're in that environment the the things that you see that make money you know are going to be those uh, those things that get you um, locked up you know they end up becoming I don't want to say bad influences because sometimes, you know, because they they went through all of that, they usually turn out to be, you know, a good mentor um, in a sense, but only when they decide to grow and develop themselves and mature. There's a lot of guys that are still stuck in that cycle, you know, they, you know, they, they'd rather, they'd rather have new clothes and new shoes and, and, and new attire, but they don't even have their own house. You know, they don't even have really an income that, uh, that is legal. You know, they're having to, to do a lot of, um, illegal things, but moving on to, uh, I kind of dipped down, <laughs> but moving on to uh, a lighter, you know, topic uh, or portion I mean you know hidden trauma can kind of be uh, um, I mean it, it's just it's just a fact so it's something that needs to be talked about and needs to be addressed because it's affecting so many people and a lot of times it shows up as us staying in the lower vibrational spectrum of unconscious expressions so with the work that I'm doing on my personal development knowing my unconscious expressions is helping me so that when i am triggered or when i am in a situation that's um that's toxic or that's not uh that's not helping me then i'm able to move up on the vibrational spectrum or ener energetic spectrum pull myself up out of you know judgment and here i'll, I'll read because i my mentor you know my because uh because you work you work with your coach or your mentor and so essentially uh for me uh where i've been kind of hanging out previously it's been it's been almost a month now so i'm 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 closer to my neutral and and up a lot of times but before you know i was hanging around the the negative energy of uh negligence uh the negative energy of uh sympathy not that sympathy is that negative but it uh when you compare that to compassion you know sympathy and disregard that's kind of where i was hanging out but when i'm neutral i'm more indifferent so that way i can it, it being indifferent helps me to pull myself up and helps me to achieve compassion which is actually empathetic wisdom. So, and then, let's see. Oh wait, no, these are, you know what, my bad. Let me, <laughs> that's the wrong, um, that was the rough draft that I was reading. So let me 
go here. Okay, so, so excuse me on that. So I've been, uh, well, when I identified my energetic spectrums and, and wrote them all out, I was basically at the time hanging around the, the negative energy signatures of negligence. I said that one, that one was, um, that one was correct. Apathy, discouragement, and judgment. So all of those negative energies were default places I would default energies I would fall into depending on depending on the different situations and realizing that so if I get triggered in a certain way and now that I now that I have this information I know my unconscious expressions that I that I default to and I know myself or my archetypes then I'm able to better handle the situation I'm, I'm, I'm better able to handle it in a mature way and not falling into an emotion or falling into essentially a trap it feels like a trap when you because because then you're like then it just kind of snowballs into the negative the negative end so I will cut it here I just wanted to touch on that nothing long and drawn out but uh, I do want to pose a question. Have you had the chance to discover any of your hidden trauma? If you are struggling in some way with uh, with something, feel free to message me. Uh, you can always connect with me on Instagram, on Facebook, and also on YouTube. You can leave comments and I will do my best. I'll. You can also email me too. I don't check my emails too often so social media is probably going to be you know the place to message me but i will cut this here and i i will leave that with you this has been a query moon and i will see you next time